Welcome to a galaxy far, far away, where space wizards battle evil empires and CGI creatures run amok. Today we delve into the much-debated Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, a film as divisive as it is disappointing. Buckle up, because we're about to venture into a galaxy where not even the Force can shield you from poor writing and cringe-worthy dialogue. Let's kick things off with everyone's least favorite Gungan Jar Jar Binks. Brought to life by Ahmed Best, Jar Jar embodies all that went awry in the prequel trilogy. With his nonsensical speech and clumsy behavior, he's less a character and more an infuriating CGI catastrophe. More charm can be found in a glitching droid. But the missteps in The Phantom Menace extend far beyond Jar Jar. The stiff performances of Hayden Christensen and Natalie Portman, coupled with George Lucas's lackluster direction, make this film a textbook example of how not to create a Star Wars movie. A rock and a Wookiee exude more chemistry However, no Star Wars film is complete without exhilarating lightsaber duels and dazzling visual effects, and The Phantom Menace delivers in these areas. From the electrifying Tatooine pod race to the climactic duel between Qui-Gon Jinn and Darth Maul, there are nuggets of genuine excitement scattered throughout the film. Yet I've seen more impressive special effects in a student film. For every thrilling action sequence, there's a corresponding cringe-inducing dialogue or clumsy exposition. Be it Anakin's awkward yippee, or Qui-Gon's clumsy midichlorian speech, the Phantom Menace is laden with eye-rolling moments. A Star Destroyer displays more subtlety. In summary, Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace is a flawed and exasperating entry in the cherished sci-fi franchise, a film as ambitious as it is disappointing. So grab your lightsaber and brace yourself for a journey into a galaxy where even the Force can't protect you from poor writing and the menace of Jar Jar Binks. In a universe where every misstep evokes groans, anything is possible, especially when accompanied by a hefty dose of sarcasm and snark. And remember, when confronting Sith Lords and Trade Federation blockades, just close your eyes and chant, it's only a movie, it's only a movie. After all, sometimes the best way to endure a cinematic disaster is to laugh at it and let the force guide you through the cringe-inducing dialogue and CGI creatures. May the farce be with you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment about your thoughts on the video and the movie. Make sure to check out other quirky reviews. Stay quirky!